Right, so the first card you have you passed is Judgment. Okay, so this is a huge card, a great big card. It's very deep, very meaningful, can mean a lot of different things, but it always means big, big, huge changes, very deep changes that start from inside you. So, yeah, I'm getting this, re this feeling of opening up, everything's starting to open up, things opening. And it was like you were suddenly seeing everything and everyone for what it was, good, bad, and everything else. It was just all opened, all exposed, and you could see everything. Um, that's what I'm getting there. So you suddenly saw a lot of things. You saw people for who they were. You saw yourself for who you were. Lots of things, lots of situations. The judgment card's a little bit like... Um, ready or not you know it's sort of like a snapshot of everything as it is and it's suddenly just exposed it's out there you know everyone in this card apart from the angels naked so you know it's exposure nowhere to go there's there's nothing to hide you know it's just all out there and uh, you know sometimes it can be really hard to look at um the reality of ourselves and what we're doing and what we're actually like, you know, but if we don't examine ourselves and face the truth, we can't grow. And that's what this card's all about, growth. And, you know, if you look at it, if you're talking about examining yourself, I don't know if you can see this, but the fam there's a family in the front and there's another one in the back and it's a mirror image of the one in the front. So it's like examining yourself, you know, looking in the mirror. Um, and, you know, it's it's kind of the same thing with recognizing things in other people you know it's it's horrible when we realize uh you know someone isn't who they say they are um but actually when you think about it knowing that is better than not knowing that so it's good to know the truth even though it hurts at the time you'd rather do that than walk along blindly with someone who isn't treating you properly and you don't know it you know so yeah i think you were just kind of thinking about a lot of different things, different people who are around you. It was a very introspective time for you, I think. And I think there are also things that you were doing that maybe deep down you knew might not be right for you as well. You're just thinking about these things. And I think you're probably on the verge, and you might still be on the verge of making these different changes. Um, but I think at this time, you're just at the thinking stage. I'm not sure where you are now, but this is where you were then. And I think... I think thinking things very carefully or thinking about things very carefully, uh, that's a really common way of approaching things, especially for Virgos, because, you know, you, you think about things very carefully before you do them. Um, but, you know, once you have your mind made up, there's no going back. You know, no one can convince you to change your mind or anything like that. So um, I think some big changes are about to happen. Uh, I think you're going to be making them, but I think you're still thinking about this at this time. You're sorting it out in your head. But once that kicks in, once you're like, no, I know what I'm doing now, you're going to start and you're going to start making a lot of changes to your life. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So the next card you have your past is um, the Ten of Swords. Yes. Yeah. Horrible card. So, um, yeah, I think because you're going through this process, this big change, and you're probably still going through this. I think you were carrying a lot of hurt around inside you because, you know, realizations can hurt, especially negative ones. And um, I'm sort of getting this feeling of, um, oh, you know, people have moved on, people have passed me by. That's the feeling I'm getting around this. And also, you know, there are people who um, expect a lot of you as well, but they're not prepared to give the same in return. That's what I'm seeing. Excuse me. <clears throat> sorry, I just had to cough there. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, okay, so, yeah, I think there are also some people who do care about you, um, but I think for practical reasons, they can't be around you. <clears throat> sorry about this. And I think, um, yeah, that really hurts you, the fact that you do, or you did at this time, you felt quite alone because you had people who you didn't really want around you, and then you were missing some people as well. So you're kind of carrying all this heart around inside you. You weren't showing it on the outside. You might still be going through this. Um, if you look at this poor man, he's lying down, he's bleeding, but he's not bleeding out of the wounds where he's been stabbed. You know, the blood's underneath him. So for you, I think um, this pain was hidden. You're hiding this pain that you had. So if, if you're feeling this right now, this is resonating, you're still feeling like this, just know that these people who have passed you by, they're not worth knowing. They're not worth having around you anyway. So I think you're 
it's it's good that they've passed you by because you don't want those sort of people around you. Um, and I think your head knows that. It's just your feelings that need to catch up with that, I think. Um, I'm also getting this feeling of um, I do my routines, I do my work, I do everything else, but I don't feel satisfied. And um, I think the people you normally have around you, you pe the people you talk to usually, um, I think a lot of people have been really busy and, you know, there's definitely one person I see um, and they'd hate to think of you feeling like this. And I think if you have all that off on your chest of, oh, I'm not satisfied, blah, 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 you just need someone to talk to about that, I think. Um, and I think this one person, I think you know they're busy and maybe you don't want to bother them, but... Uh, I think what I'm seeing here is you should bother them. <laughs> you know, they'd love to hear from you. And yeah, I think they're busy, but they'd hate to see you like this. Um, I actually think there might be an opportunity uh, for you to be able to see this person at some time. Um, yeah, I think there are even some opportunities around for travel coming up for you. You know, there's a sunrise here on this card, so things are going to improve. They're going to change for you. And, um, yeah, definitely speak to them anyway, this person who's at a distance from you. They definitely care about you and, uh, I don't know, they don't know how you feel unless you tell them. You know, it's like, I don't know that, I don't know. That's why I'm saying I don't know, because I'm kind of picturing what they're seeing and they're going about their day, they're busy. They don't know that that's what you're going through. That's what I'm seeing. So you need to tell them. How do they know if you don't tell them? So call them, talk to them. They are busy, but they're going to stop everything to talk to you because I think they'll be very, very, very happy to talk to you if that resonates with you. All right. So the last card you have, you pass the three of wands. Okay, I think there's someone else who's connected to this uh, person who you're missing as well. Maybe this is a child. Um, there are three people I'm seeing and, and you'd all love to be connected. That's what I'm seeing. You'd all love to be together. Um, now, from what I'm seeing here, um, you will be able to get together again. You know, this man's looking out onto this uh, onto the sea and, um, you know, he can see these three ships and they're in the distance. They're far away from him, but he can see them. They're there. So, you know, it might be some time. This is the waiting card, so it might be a bit of time before you can actually get together again. Um, but in the meantime, again, if you're feeling down or you're missing this person, talk to them. Um, I'm feeling this really, really strongly. They'd rather hear from you than not. Even if you talk about rubbish, doesn't matter what you talk about, they'd love to hear from you. They want to hear from you. Um, they are very busy. They're a busy person. They're also a little bit forgetful, so maybe they might have meant to talk to you, but they, you know, it slipped their mind because they're so busy. But they want to keep in contact and they want to know all about you. They want you to feel better and they want to help you to feel better. That's what I'm getting in that card. Okay, so the first card you have your presence, uh, the five of pentacles, yes. Oh, so, okay, what I'm getting here is there's this feeling of, I want you to hear me, notice me, I want you to notice me, notice me. That's what I'm getting in this card. I'm just looking at this, um, there's a boy on the front, there are these two people and he has a bell around his neck. And you know, if you hear a bell, it's like a sound that's kind of, I want to be noticed, I want you to see me, I want you to hear me, That that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, I don't know whether this is someone you've blocked. It's someone who used to be close to you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of problems around money as well, because this is the five of pentacles. So maybe, uh, they caused you some money problems. That's why you block them. It might be that. Um, there's some kind of situation, I think, where you either help them financially in some way. It might be around material objects as well, because I'm just seeing this, I'm seeing clearing away, clearing things away. So it might be that uh, they had to clear things out of a house and maybe they took some things that didn't belong to them. It's something like that. And the feeling I'm getting is that uh, they actually really want to make it up to you. I think they've either been trying to contact you and you haven't responded, or maybe they're blocked or, you know, they might have been trying to get to you through other people, maybe. I'm getting that as well. So, but yeah, there's a there's some kind of big underlying problem here. It's almost like you feel as if, if you let them into your life again, and especially if you help them out financially again, um, the help or the money or whatever, it won't go to the right place. 
That's what I'm seeing. It's going to go to the wrong place if you help them. That's what I'm getting. So I hope that makes sense um, to you. Um, yeah, I keep on seeing them trying to get through to you, uh, maybe through other people. I'm seeing that again. Yeah, I think they're trying to talk to other people and the other people are trying to convince you. That's what I'm getting. Um, so it might be that people are saying things like, oh, oh, you should be kind. Why don't you want to talk to them? You should talk to them. Things like that. Um, but I don't think these people know what you know. So, you know, if this if this all resonates with you, you don't have to tell them. You don't have to tell them this person's business, obviously, and I don't think you'd want to do that either. But you don't have to justify yourself to these people or anyone. You don't owe them an explanation for anything. You know, you can just say something like, well, I just don't want to talk about this, you know, or, you know, this is really between us. Um, it's a private thing between us. I don't want to talk about this. Just say something like that and just leave it at that because I think these people might question even more. But why? But why? Just say, look, I've already gone through this. I don't have any more to say about this and just leave it. And, you know, just remember, you don't need to do anything that you feel uncomfortable doing and you don't need to talk to anyone um, who you feel uncomfortable talking to. Take care of yourself. Look out for yourself. I just feel as if I have to say that because I keep on getting this feeling that not many people are doing that for you. So you need to do that for yourself. All right. The next card you have your presence, the star. Yes, this I've got this really strong feeling actually that I need to protect you in this reading. I feel as if I have to protect you. Um, I think your emotions might still be quite kind of up and down. Uh, and uh, again, I, I don't think you have a support system around you or, or the one that you normally do. Um, I'm, I keep on seeing this person who's away from you and it just feels a lot like... Um, what, the, what it feels like is the people who you want to have near you are away and the people you don't want to have near you are sort of near you, circling you, and you're trying to kind of run away and hide. Um, you know, the woman on this card, she's by herself, obviously, and she's naked, obviously. And, and sometimes this can be about feeling vulnerable, and I think that might be how you're feeling. Um, you know, you're a really strong person and you've gotten through a lot of things in your life. Don't forget that. Um, don't forget how resilient you are. Um, there's an ibis just behind this woman's elbow. An ibis, um, you know, they're extremely resilient birds. They can survive all kinds of conditions. And, you know, whether they survive, uh, you know, they can survive in cities, any kind of weather, hot, cold. So just remember that. And again, Call this person, this person who's close to you in spirit. I'm seeing you're spiritually close to this person who's away from you. Your hearts are connected, even though you're not, you know, and your minds and your spirits are very, very close. So please reach out to them, especially if you're feeling lost, especially if you're feeling vulnerable. I think this person really wants to help you to feel better and they want to help your spirit to feel better because they're close to you in spirit and they might be feeling something's not right as well because uh, they probably feel how you feel sometimes. That's what I'm getting. All right, so the last card you have your presence, uh, the Knight of Swords. You know, I think you might actually be escaping for a while. You might actually go and visit this person, this person you're missing. And uh, if this resonates, if, if this is something you're thinking about or planning, this is very unlike you. You know, you usually plan things out. You you think about things really carefully before you do them. Uh, but this is the card of kind of rushing in, and I think that might be what you're doing. Um, you know, there's just so much discontent around you. It feels really, really heavy, and maybe that's why you're kind of oh, I just need to escape. You know, that's what I'm getting. Um, I think there might be an opportunity that comes up where you'll be able to go and see this person. You might even be flying to them because I'm just looking at all the air in this card and the clouds and everything like that. Yeah, it feels like an escape, an escape to freedom with all these birds everywhere and, and there's a feather on his helmet as well. So if you are thinking about this, just know that they'd really welcome you. Don't feel as if, oh, I can't do that. They won't want me there. They do want you there. They'd welcome you. They want you. They'd love you to do this. I don't think they're able to get away for some reason. I'm seeing you having a little bit more flexibility with your time than they do. And, you know, if you do this, uh, you'll be traveling towards someone you love. I can see that. You know, there's a little heart just behind this horse's eye. 
Um, so yeah, he's he's rushing into love. That's what I'm seeing. But you're rushing into. I don't think this is a love connection. It might be, but that's not what I'm seeing. It, it could be, um, but it's someone you do love in some way. Um, now you might have to fight off some opposition if you decide to take this trip. Um, I'm just getting this feeling that a lot of people, a lot of people have certain expectations of you that you'll be there for them or whatever. But this is your life. And, you know, if you have put some time aside and you have the resources to do this, why not? You know, you'll be cutting out this long wait that I'm seeing in the, in the Three of Wands. And uh, I just really, really hope this resonates. And I really do hope that you do do this. I really do. All right. So the first card you have your future is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I'm really happy to see this here as well, actually. I think you're just coming into a time where you're just going to be saying, no, you know, enough, enough of everyone expecting me to work around them, enough of everyone expecting me to do what they want, enough of people who don't ever do what I want. Um, people pass me by. That's what I was seeing in the judgment card. Um, not everyone, but a lot of people. And it feels as if a lot of people expect you to work around them and do things for them. But of course, you know, when you need them, they pass you by. That's what I keep on seeing. Um, you know, this queen's super strong and she's like that because she's been through a lot in her life, just like you have. Um, a lot of people say she's a widow. There's some debate about that, but um, she's definitely been through a lot and that's why she's got her guard up. So if you're planning this trip, definitely do it. Have your guard up against anyone who opposes that and also have your guard up against this person with this money problem because I keep on feeling that they're trying to get to you and they're trying to get you to do what they say. You know, you do what you want. You do what you think, not what other people think. Um, you know, do any of these people take how you feel into account? Do they ever do that? You know, I'm guessing not because of the, all the feelings I'm getting all through this reading. Um, and again, you know what this person's like, this person with this money problem. Um, okay, I'm just seeing this. I don't know if this will resonate, but this is just what's coming into me. There might be some kind of drug or maybe some kind of alcohol problem around this um, problem person. And if that's the case, that explains the money problems. Um, it might not be that, but... Um, I am seeing chaotic behaviour and uh, you've been trying to get away from that. I'm seeing you being left feeling vulnerable, sort of exposed, unhappy, uh, not quite yourself. All of that can point to that. Um, it might not be, but I was just seeing that. But definitely stand up for yourself. Don't, you know, don't put other people first. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself. That's a big message going all the way through this reading. All right, so the next card you have for your future is the Four of Swords. Yeah, here we are. This is obviously about rest. It's about taking time out for yourself. Um, it's also about recognizing how important you are. This statue is gold and that's how you need to see yourself. You need to see yourself as someone of value, uh, someone who values themselves. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is, I just saw this out of nowhere actually. Um, okay, there's someone who might not be very well. They might be going through uh, an illness and I think you've had your share of illnesses as well. I'm seeing that as well. But this is someone who you're worried about and I'm actually seeing you praying for them. So it might be a traditional style of prayer that you do or it might be a prayer that's done in your own way. You know, all ways are valid. All ways of prayer and thought and good intentions, they are all valid. It's the feeling and the intention behind what you're doing that's the important thing, um, if this is resonating with you. Um, there's something There's something I'm getting here. You might not be able to be around them for some reason. So um, if that resonates, just know that they know you care about them and just know that they feel those prayers. They feel those prayers and those good intentions and those well wishes and that positivity coming from you to them. So that's something I just saw and I just had to say that. Okay, so the last card you have for your past, sorry, for your future, why am I saying that? Your future is uh, the Emperor. Yeah, this really sums up a lot of what I've been seeing everywhere in this reading. Control, people trying to get you to do what they want, 
um, and you've had your armour on, like this emperor, uh, and I think you're probably going to need it on for a while, actually. You know, you go, you're getting a lot stronger than you were, but um, keep it on. My, my, um, my advice to you is to keep your armour on in the meantime, while you're still growing, you're still getting stronger, you're probably still going to have this uh, money problem person uh, coming into your life, trying to do things or ask you for things. Um, you know, armour can come in the shape of blocking your phone, it can come in the shape of saying no, it can come in the shape of uh, living your own life without having to answer to everyone. You know, of course you have responsibilities, everyone does, but I think I think you're realising that your biggest responsibility really is to yourself and your own health and your own well-being. So stay as strong as you can. And again, go and be near this person. Either talk to them or visit them if you can, because I'm seeing that really strongly as well.